Okay, in this tutorial, I want to share with you our built-in stopwatch feature, which is really useful, especially for cross-country meets. Um, let's say that you have a, a laptop with race tab loaded on it that you can run right at the finish line and use this actually as your clock. So um, we have the same cross-country meet that we've been working with extensively in, through the tutorials. Um, this time, I do have some teams and some athletes already set up in the database. So I'm going to go to the results tab, and we have no results in there yet. I'm going to click the stopwatch button, which brings up this watch. Now, what's, we could start it right here at zero, but what's more likely to happen is somebody had a handheld stopwatch, started the cross-country race, and then what we're going to do is sync up with that race clock. So let's um, put it on 16 minutes, and we're going to set it there. And so somebody's going to give me the word when we get to that 16-minute mark. You'll notice up here these buttons, they control the stopwatch. But also we have shortcut keys over here so we can use the keyboard as well, which is, uh, and for practical purposes, uh, is a lot better situation. So somebody tells me, okay, boom, the race has now at 16 minutes, so our clock is going. And so now I'm going to wait for people to get to the finish line. And as they cross the finish line, I'm going to click the split button or click the space bar. So we got somebody to cross. And every time they go across, I'm going to hit it again. And once we're done, we can either click the stop button or we can click the backspace button. And so that stops the clock. And now what I want to do is import the times. So I'm going to click import times. And you'll see it put all the times down here on the list. So after the athletes crossed the finish line, they went through the chute and either somebody recorded their bib numbers or that you know they ripped off the bottom um, tab of the bib and put it on a spindle, whichever whatever the case may be. So later when we want to match up the names with the times, they're going to read these bib numbers to me in order. So they're going to read me, um, you know, here's two, eight, eleven, ten, five, and nine. And you'll see the names are automatically put in here, matched up with the times. And we could, you know, print the results, do whatever we need to do. It's going to do the team scores. So it's pretty easy.